It's been a few weeks since Apple announced all four of its new iPhones for the year, and today we actually got our first look at the iPhone 12 mini. This is our very brief hands-on experience that is kind of what it would have been like if we had a real event to go to. We would have rushed the kind of demo area really quickly to get you some of these first look impressions. I managed to spend about 20 to 30 minutes with the iPhone 12 mini and honestly out of the four new iPhone 12s this year this was the one that stood out to me the most. This is the phone I'm most interested in getting for myself mostly because it is so small and pretty and cute and in person this thing did not disappoint. This 5.4 inch screen in this beautiful aluminum body and the five different colors that we saw were just really really attractive. I really love how this phone fit in my hand. It was very easy to just kind of maneuver with one hand. I could type easily with just one hand and reach across the screen to get all the icons no matter where they lay. I'm also super taken with the new light green color option, but I must say the red and blue variants are also very attractive. One thing that's new across the iPhone 12 lineup are the OLED screens on all four phones. On the iPhone 12 mini, Things looked really bright, clear, colorful. Even under the uh, sunlight streaming into our demo area, I could see things pretty clearly. I didn't really actually have to bump brightness up to the max to see things easily, but I did anyway, and it is very easy to read. And though there's still a lot of things I can't actually test and tell you about, things like 5G performance, things like battery life, one of these things is the A14 Bionic processor's performance in the real world, but I can tell you that just from my few minutes of kind of launching apps and surfing some websites, I already feel like this thing is a beast. Another thing that I want more time to test are the cameras on the iPhone 12 mini. There's a pair uh, on the back, a 12 megapixel wide and a, an ultra wide option. And the pictures that we took in the test area look nice. Uh, once again, this is something we'll have to take out into the real world to test because Apple also added some improvements to things like night mode and our demo area was just kind of bright and couldn't test that out. The other thing that I didn't really try out uh, at our hands-on event was the durability of the ceramic shield glass covering the screen. Apple says it's up to four times stronger than the glass on previous models of the iPhone. And we'll kind of have to take their word for it right now. I wasn't about to go drop Apple samples on the floor just to test this out. Uh, but we'll make sure to let you know when our full review goes live just how well this stands up. One more thing that really caught my attention when Apple was announcing the new iPhones was the MagSafe accessory uh, format. Uh, we've already seen this in our iPhone 12 and 12 Pro reviews uh, and how it works with the charger, the wireless charger. And now here at our event, we're able to test it out with some card holders and some other cases as well. As expected, it's really easy to put magnets onto each other. This is really an easy way to swap out accessories when you feel like it. When I put the um, card holder near the back of the iPhone 12 mini, it just snapped on into place and it, the phone vibrated and a an animation showed up on screen to tell me that this thing was connected. For something like a card holder, the animation and the vibration aren't really that necessary, but I could see this becoming useful eventually for something that's a bit more intelligent and requires some sort of connection. I also like how easy it is to just remove the card holder and swap something else in, but again, I don't know how many accessories you have lying around at home, but Apple is clearly trying to build an ecosystem here. For $699, the iPhone 12 mini looks really compelling. I'm very tempted by it. It feels good. It's got the great guts that its bigger siblings also have, a nice screen, and some really interesting looking cameras. So for now, I would say I'm cautiously optimistic about the iPhone 12 mini, but I would encourage you to wait for our full review before you make that buying decision. For more advice on the smartphones, tablets, laptops, and wearables you should get this holiday season, make sure you subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching.